video, we are going to show a few tips and tricks to make working with Autotask a lot easier. So imagine this. Uh, you're busy working on a ticket when the phone rings. It's a customer whose laptop stopped working and you need to help them immediately. Meanwhile, the ticket you were working on is still open with the stopwatch running, like I have right here. What you really need is to store this ticket um, with the stopwatch on pause so you can focus on helping the customer. Fortunately for us, Autotask has quite a handy feature for this called the worklist. So what I want to do is I want to pause this ticket, which I can do by clicking this arrow right here in the top left corner, which is sent to worklist. So when I click on this arrow, as you can see, the ticket disappears from my view and I'm free to work a new ticket for uh, the customer who's calling, whose uh, laptop isn't working. So I can just fix this ticket. And when I'm done with this ticket, I can go back to uh, the, the homepage and I can get to my work list. The work list is like these two buttons on the right side. You can see right here. So if I click on the stop one, I can see all the tickets which are in my work list. The bottom button is for all the tasks in my work list, which you can see I have none right now. So when I click on the tickets in my work list, as you can see, I have four tickets in my work list right now with the stopwatch on pause. So I can just resume the ticket by clicking on this arrow, which means open this item in a new window. And when I do that, as you can see, the ticket opens again and the stopwatch starts running automatically. So I can just update the stopwatch and move it to the top of my work list to put it on pause again, as you can see. And I can also switch through these um, dots right here. I can just drag and drop tickets to order my work list. As you can see, I don't even have to open the ticket. I can just access the stopwatch from right here so I can press play or I can press pause, or if I'm done with a ticket, I can even press record to just go to my time entry screen. Right now, I'm, I have my time entry. I can uh, put in my notes and click on save and close, and the time entry will be made. Um, when I go back to the work list, I can uh, open it in a new window. I can reset all stopwatches. And there's even a button to remove all tickets and just clear up my work list. In the bottom, as you can see, you have a icon to configure your work list. So right now the ticket number, account and title are all visible. But maybe I want the due date visible as well because I want to know when, I, uh, when the ticket is due. So when I uh, selected this or double click on, on an item, it goes to selected data. And um, as you can see uh, right now, if I click on save and close, the work list will refresh itself and the due date will be visible. So I can just work on items which are nearest to. Also in the settings for the work list um, are two different settings to keep the stopwatch running when sending a ticket to the work list, which is not really working for me, but it might work for you. So um, keep that in mind. And uh, which, is, which is definitely working for me is to automatically start or unpause the stopwatch when a ticket or time entry is opened from my work list. So as you can see, I've activated that option because it's very handy. Um, but as I've said before, this is just due to personal preference. So you might uh, want, to, want to play a little bit with these settings to find out what you like. Okay, um, so that was the uh, work list. Another quite handy feature is the recent ticket list. As you can see with this icon, it's, it's called recent. And I can see every recent item I opened. Uh, uh, so if I want to open a ticket which uh, uh, I was working on or I've already closed and I just want to open it again because I forgot something, I can just easily click on the name of the ticket and it'll open again. Um, and 
as you can see, it's not only for tickets, but it's also for quote items or for companies or even for contracts or for knowledge base articles. So it's like for every recent item in Autotask, I can clear the recent item list with this button or if I want a few more because it's just outside of this recent list, I can just click on view more and it'll show me a little bit more items. Another thing which is quite handy within Autotask is the bookmark uh, sign or the bookmarks, which is this icon. I can click on uh, uh, manage bookmarks to manage them. I can delete them or delete all. And bo what bookmarks is, it's basically like you're used to in a browser. You can just click on, on an item and it's very easily accessible. How can you bookmark something? Well, that's quite easy. As you can see, it's a star right here. Um, and on the uh, right hand side, you also have a star and you can star different kind of pages. So I have contact to billing product mapping start. But if I wanted to, for example, um, uh, bookmark a company, I can open the company and I can just click on the bookmark sign right here in the top right corner. And I will close this window. And when I go to bookmarks, as you can see, it's just now bookmarked the company, unknown company. Um, and an another handy feature is the search, the Autotask search. So as you can see, it's um, displayed or you can search for a lot of different things. And it might be a little bit intimidating in the begin beginning, but it's really quite easy. So when you know you want to, want to search for something like a company, you can just select company and you can type here the company you want to search for. So I might want to search for ABC. And when I click search, it'll show the company page, the ABC demo. Now I might want to filter a little bit more if I uh, get my initial search results back. So I can click here on this plus sign by search filters and expand the search filters. So I can search in a little bit more detail for the company. The same goes for things like contacts and you can search by different uh, settings like first name, last name or email, or even for ticket numbers of, or tickets. So it's quite a handy feature and um, uh, as with the recent items feature, you also have recent searches, which is visible just from the search box. So as you can see, I search for ABC or for UNK, which was actually a search for a known company. And um, it's really difficult or really easy to just access the recent searches if you just close the search page because you were looking for something else and you, you forgot something and you you thought like, oh, I need to get back to, to the search page. You can do it right here. So that were a few tips and tricks within Autotask.